Okay, hey guys, it's Asha. So today I'm finally back with another uh, video, and today I'm going to be doing my top five videos of 2013. And first of all, I want to say I just got a tripod, so I'm kind of figuring out how to set it up. I don't know if this is working or not, but I guess we'll see when I edit it. So yeah, and my camera looks crooked, so I hope I'm not crooked. I don't know. But anyway, so first of all, thank you to all my new subscribers. I can't believe, I don't even know how many I have now. But thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I will be doing a giveaway really soon once I hit 1500, if I haven't hit it yet. I don't think I've hit it. Once I hit that, I'll definitely be doing a giveaway. And thank you to everyone who went on my blog and commented and meant a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. And I'm so excited to get back into making videos. I'm sorry I haven't made any. My winter break was a lot crazier than I thought, and I definitely didn't have any time. And plus, all my books were here in my college apartment and not at home. So today, like I said, I'm going to be doing my top five books of 2013. And it's really weird. All of these books are either orange, have an orange or yellow tint to them. Isn't that kind of strange? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that was random. Okay, so these books are in order of how I, when I read them. So the order of when I read them. Yeah. That makes sense, right? Okay, so the very first book is actually a non-fiction book, and it's Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. I read this, I think, in, like, February, and I love this book so much. I was already a big fan of Tina Fey, and I picked it up because I love her so much, and I love Saturday Night Live, and this just gives you so many, like, behind-the-scenes about Saturday Night Live and her life and what it's like to be a screenwriter which was really interesting because I didn't really give a lot of credit to screenwriters but this book like opened my eyes to that whole world and I I just love this book so much where did I get this okay but yeah I really if you have not read this book I really suggest it especially if you're a fan of Tina Fey or um, Saturday Night Live or if you just like TV, I really suggest this book. It was so good and hilarious. I was laughing out loud. Like, I just love Tina Fey so much. I want her to be my friend. I want to have dinner with her. Okay, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, my next favorite is actually a compilation of short stories. And it's Scenes from Village Life by Amos Oz. And I had to read this book for um, my comparative literature class last semester. And I absolutely love it. I was not expecting this because... Usually, you know, school books are just kind of like, meh. And um, this book was actually translated from Hebrew, I think. Yeah, it was actually translated from Hebrew. And, um, oh, this book was just so great. It's, so basically, it's just a bunch of different short stories about various people who live in this little village in Israel. And it's really strange, like really weird things happen to these people. It's just written so beautifully. I want to read more of his stuff. It's really great. I really, really suggest it. And it's really tiny and oh, I loved it so much. Okay, so the next book, you guys all know about how much I love this book. And that's More Than This by Patrick Ness. This book is incredible. So good. I suggest this now to every person who asks me for a book recommendation. I absolutely loved it so much. I mean, I did a review on this. You can definitely click on the book and to watch it. It's just, oh. The way it's written is so amazing. I love how there's a deeper meaning to it and it keeps you guessing the entire time you're reading the book. I had no idea what was going on, but I loved it about it. It's just amazing and I will be reading the rest of his books um, this year. I absolutely love this book. Okay, so the next book, this one of my favorites, is The Book Thief by Marcus Uzak. You guys all have heard about this one, I'm sure. I absolutely loved this book. This is incredible. The way it's written, it like it just blows my mind when I'm reading it. I'm just like, oh my god, Marcus, you know how to write. I love this. And I saw the movie and I will be doing a review on this maybe like right after this video because I did promise to do this. So I will be doing a review and movie review of this. I loved this. If you have not read it, I highly, highly recommend it. And my last favorite, which was a huge surprise, I was not expecting this book to be a favorite at all and it's The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. Oh my god I love this book. I love this story. I love this world. I love the characters. It was so good. It is a little slow when you first pick it up um, but once you start getting really into it it's just amazing amazing amazing. I love the pacing of it. Everything about this book is just perfect and I read In Time in December and that was also really great, and I cannot wait to read Never Fade. I, it's like in my Amazon 
um, shopping cart ready for me to purchase it. I'm so excited. I just love this world. When I read In Time, I forgot how much I love the world. Oh, so good. I really, really suggest this. But yeah, so these are my top five books of 2013. I loved every single one of them. But all of these books are just amazing, and I really suggest any of these if you're looking for something new, if you haven't read any of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top five of 2013. Tell me what yours are down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!